Breaking news, North Korea claims to have successfully tested a hypersonic missile, a move clearly designed to rattle its neighbors and provoke the United States. Our Brian Todd is tracking the story. North Korea's aggressive young dictator is back to tweaking, agitating, clamoring for the West's attention and getting it. North Korea's news agency claims Kim Jong-un's military has test-fired a hypersonic missile which can travel several times faster than the speed of sound and has a warhead that detaches and glides. That was just minutes before North Korea's envoy to the U.N. spoke to the General Assembly, accusing the U.S. of, quote, antagonizing Pyongyang, blasting the U.S.-South Korean military alliance, and making an implied threat of his own. We have been very much accustomed to the U.S. military threat, and we know well how to deal with the U.S., the most hostile country. After a period of relative calm, military tensions on the Korean peninsula have recently been boiling. This is North Korea's third missile test this month, following another ballistic missile test in mid-September and tests of long-range cruise missiles before that. South Korea tested a submarine-launched ballistic missile on September 16th and is deploying a 3,000-ton sub capable of firing it. On the peninsula, it's clear there's arms racing dynamics going on. North Korea is signaling that its missile arsenal is moving to sea, so South Korea is doing the same. That means that both countries will, in a crisis, be looking in many different directions. That increases the risk of miscalculation and increases the risk that an accident could occur. The blur of activity on the peninsula in recent weeks includes a bizarre parade through Kim Il-sung Square in Pyongyang, featuring a hazmat squad, a canine unit, horses, and at the stroke of midnight, an image that got North Korea watchers into a lather Kim Jong-un in a tailored, light-colored suit, looking strikingly thinner than he had a few months ago. I see no threat uh, to uh, the stability of North Korea or to his uh, rule of North Korea, uh, except the sort of health problems that uh, have run in his family over the years. And he probably knows that, and that may be one of the reasons why uh, he's doing his best to, to stay in, uh, in fighting trim, so to speak. Kim was even shown in propaganda footage appearing to enjoy a bright green drink with a twisty straw. The visuals, the missile tests, the bombast at the UN signal a re-emergence of Kim Jong-un on the world stage. But what's his calculation? I think the message is that North Korea is prepared to talk, but on its terms. And those terms include a desire to, to talk about what they describe as South Korean and U.S. hostility. Uh, and they're not particularly interested in uh, talking about what the United States wants to talk about, and that is, of course, denuclearization. Uh, the North Koreans have made it very clear that they're not going down that path.